Today we're going to be working on long division. Now when you're doing long division, you need to think of the different steps. The first step is that you're going to divide, then you're going to multiply, subtract, bring down, and then your fifth step is to start all over again. So as you're doing your long division, I want you to make sure that you use these steps and why don't you just write them down on your paper, that way you are careful in that you can use each step the right way. Let's look at the first problem. We have 5,921 divided by 9. The first thing that you need to do is think how many times does 9 go into 5? And that is 0 times. The 0 goes on top of the house right above the 5. 0 times 9 is 0. Subtract it. You have 5. The next step is to bring down the 9. Now I need to think how many times does 9 go into 59? And I know that 9 times 6 is 54. After I multiply 6 times 9 and get 54, I subtract and I get 5. I then am going to bring down the 2. Now I need to think how many times does 9 go into 52? Well, if you noticed up here, 9 times 6 was 54, so I know that that's too much. I need to go down just a little bit. So let's try 5 times 9, and I get 45. Then I need to subtract 52 minus 45. I can't do 2 minus 5, so I borrow from the 5, make it a 4. Now I have 12 minus 5, which is 7. 4 minus 4 is 0. I bring down the last one, and I need to think how many times does 9 go into 71? And I know 9 times 8 is 72, so that's too much. So let's do 9 times 7. And I know 9 times 7 is 63, and since I've run out of room, I'm going to do 71 over here, minus 63, since I don't have any room down below. Now go ahead and borrow from the 7, make it a 6. And this is now an 11. 11 minus is 8. So now I need to think, do I have anything left to bring down? Right here? No, I do not. So my remainder is 8. Okay, now we have 2,398 divided by 7. Remember to follow these steps as you are doing this problem. So 7 goes into two zero times. So I'm going to look at 7 going into 23 and I know that 7 times 3 is 21. I'm going to subtract and I get 2, bring down the 9. 7 goes into 29, I know 4 times. 4 times 7 is 28. Subtract and I get 1, bring down the 8. 7 goes into 18 2 times. 2 times 7 is 14. Subtract it and you get your remainder which is 4. And I know that's the remainder because there's nothing left here to bring down. Now we have a two digit number that's outside the house so we need to think of how we're going to use that in order to solve our division problem. We have 3,289 divided by 21. This works the same exact way. You divide, multiply, subtract, bring down, and then start over again. So I need to think, how many times does 21 go into 3? And I know that's 0 times. And how many times does 21 go into 32? And I know that that is going to be 1 time. 1 times 21 is 21. Subtract, 2 minus 1 is 1. 3 minus 2 is 1. I have 11 left over. After I subtract, I bring down the 8. Now I need to think about how many times 21 will go into 118. And a way to think about that is if you just look at the 2 and look at the 11. Think about how many times the 2 would go into the 11. So I know that 2 would go into 11 five times because five times two is ten. If I went up anymore I'd be too much. So let's do five times twenty-one. 
Now I could write the problem over here to the side and do that to make sure that I get the right answer. Or I can do it like this. 5 times 1, so I use the 5 up top and the 1 over here, is 5. 5 times 2 is 10. Now I can subtract. 8 take away 5 is 3. 1 take away 0 is 1. 1 take away 1 is 0. So I have 13 left over. Now I need to bring down after I subtract and I have 139. Again, you're going to use the same strategy where you look at the numbers and you can look at 2 and 13. How many times would 2 go into 13? And I know that that's 6 times. So again, we'll do 6 times 1 is 6 and 6 times 2 is 12. So I have 139 minus 126. And since I'm running out of room, I'm going to write it again over here and subtract. 9 minus 6 is 3 and 3 minus 2 is 1. So I got 13 again. Now I need to look, is there anything left to bring down? No. So I know that my remainder is going to be 13. For our last problem, we again have a two digit number outside the house. So we need to think how many times 14 will go into 4,287. And the first one I need to look at is how many times 14 will go into 4, which is 0. So now I need to look how many times will 14 go into 42. Now, you need to think about what each one would be, and I know that 14 times 2, or 14 plus 14, is going to be 28. So let's see if I can get one more in there. Carry the 1, and I have 42. So it looks like I have 1, 2, 3 14s. So now I need to figure out what 3 times 14 is. If you looked at that addition problem, you should know the answer. But you can also do 3 times 4 is 12. Carry the 1. 3 times 1 is 3 plus 1 is 4. Subtract it. You get 0. Next step is to bring down. How many times will 14 go into 8? And I know that 14 will not go into 8 at all, so it's 0. 0 times 14 is 0. I can subtract and I get 8. Bring down the 7. Think about how many times 14 will go into 87. If I know that 3 14s is 42, then I could double that and make it 6 14s, which would be 42 plus 42 is 84. So again, we need to do 6 times 14, which if you looked at that addition problem, you should know the answer. But let's do 6 times 4 is 24, carry the 2. 6 times 1 is 6, plus 2 more is 8. I can subtract, and I know that I will get 3. Now I need to look, is there anything left to bring down? No, there's not. So my remainder will be 3. Again, you need to follow the steps. Divide, multiply, subtract, bring down, then start over again. Using these steps, you'll be successful in completing your long division.